Angela, what is this right on your hand? Oops, uh, this is, um, nothing special. Uh, never mind, forget about that. Angela, please tell me. I'll keep it in secret. Um, don't worry about me. I'm good. Seriously. They won't let me tell you. Tell me who did this to you. If I tell you, I'm done. Watch your monsters carefully and you'll see. You'll get it. You just want me to watch my monsters? Okay, I can do it. What is that? How did this get here? <laughs> Hi my kitties! Welcome to my channel! Today we continue playing Talking Tom and his friends. And I'm curious what they can do this time. I'm sure it will be really interesting because we have many monsters, they have their own ideas, especially how to have some fun with us. Yummy blood, 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 blood. What? What are you talking about? What are you doing here? What blood? I just can't with them. They always say some nonsense. Oh, you know about blood? I don't know anything about blood and I don't want to know. Okay, let's send them to eat. These guys too. Becca, come on, go grab some snacks and don't talk about blood. Okay, guys, please come in, take your seats. Okay, let's feed our little buddies, we have no any food. Apple, sushi, sure we'll buy it. Strawberries and something else. Oh, we out of money. Oh my god, but never mind, we will earn some money later. Angela, take your seat, please. Let's start. Oh, we have barbecue, sushi. Seems like I gave Angela everything. Look at this. Becca is happy too now, but I'm out of my money and seems like Ginger, the biggest eater, will stay hungry. Sorry, Ginger, you won't get any snack because I have no money. Sorry, I'm so sorry, seriously. Hope you guys won't be hungry because we have no food. As we get no food, oh my god, broken toilet, seriously? I only have five coins left, guys, five. Maybe we'll go to shop. We got two trips, so probably we might get some food or money. Well, at least something. In this game, money come and go incredibly fast. Seriously, it's like I'm spending them in real life. The strangest things are happening. Wow. Let's open our cards. No, firstly, let's have another trip here. I'll choose next places randomly so we can get something really cool. Cards again. No any food. Oh, money. Thank you. Well, at least money. Well, I hope I can feed my ginger. Another trip? No, no more trips. Somebody please. Ginger, come on. I know you're hungry. I know, I know, I know. Stop crying. Okay, let's feed him. Come on, ginger. I know you'll eat everything. Are you full? No? Take this. Okay, now you're full. Anybody else? Anybody? Okay, I need to talk to Angela. I have some questions for her. Hello, Angela. Hello, Angela. How you doing? What's new? Angela, what is this right on your hand? Oops, uh, this is... Um, nothing special. Uh, never mind, forget about that. Angela, please tell me. I'll keep it in secret. Um, don't worry about me. I'm good. Seriously. They won't let me tell you. Tell me who did this to you. If I tell you, I'm done. Watch your monsters carefully and you'll see. You'll get it. You just want me to watch my monsters? Okay, I can do it. Tell me what else do they want. They want to change their clothes. Change clothes? Yeah, we can do it. Let's go to our wardrobe. Angela, I will find it out, don't worry. Did you see her arm? So, okay, let's check what we have in our wardrobe. I need to find something matching for them. Why is it all blocked? Okay, how much does it cost? How can we unlock it? I can't do it. Why is it all blocked? I can't even buy it. I want to have matching suits for them, so I need to watch some ad. Game will give some random suits for them. Others are blocked, but I won't give up. Let's try it. I just wanted to have something good for them. One suit is given for 7 hours. Nice, it's enough. Wow, we got sparkly suit for Tom. What suit will get the next character? Let's choose something. Which one? Oh, a diver. Hank is a diver. It's something new. Okay, the next is Becca. 
Give her a demon costume cause Beck is Becca. Hmm, stop looking at me like this, little demon. You're also a friend of that crazy Arab cat. I will be really shocked if she gets a demon suit. Oh my god, it's a movie star dress, it's Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Beck is Marilyn Monroe. It's so funny. The next one is... You must be a policeman, but it's my opinion. Or a detective, or a secret agent. He got policeman suit, really? It's unbelievable, it's randomly choice of the game. How's that possible he got policeman suit? I just don't understand. <laughs> but we, we need to change others. Let's take someone else. Okay, who's the next one? Aha, uh -huh, Hank. Okay, Ginger. Ginger, I think he can be a cook. Cause he eats a lot. I'll be shocked if he is a cook. Seriously, I'm not doing anything. But this Ben with his policeman suit, it's... The power of thought. Oh, a policeman too. Hey, that is strange. Maybe they work together, but we don't know about that. So, okay, everybody's ready. Just look at us, superstars. Suits party is getting started. We have two cops today. Guys, just look at them. They look so funny. Oh god, Hanky is just damn. Look at this. That is too funny. <laughs> Becky is Marilyn Monroe. That is too much. Let's fix our toilet. We have money. Look at this sleepy Marilyn Monroe. Come on, policeman, hurry up. I'll get you to sleep. Everything is as usual. I've just started. Just look at them. Just look at them, guys. The party's just started. You're kidding. Go get some sleep. Hang. Okay, I'll feed you and you'll go to bed. Take it. Good job. What do you want? to sleep it's all obviously let's go while they're sleeping let's go open our cards okay open it one two three three duplicates woohoo let's open another one <laughs> one two three the next one come on i will sell all these duplicates and we'll have money so my little guys in suits tell me what happened to angela i saw a bite on her arm why are you silent? Where are you going? Who scared you so much? Angela, poor girl. Who did scare you so much? I'll find it out. Good evening, we have only one snack, sorry. Hey, Ben ate everything, oh. No, 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 let's go and buy something else. We got five coins, guys, five. I'm a rich. Oh, we have something for five. Do you know why I'm out of my money? I've been spending them so mercilessly. I've been buying for them expensive snacks and now they all are hungry. Look at this chocolate, it suits you. Enjoy your snack. Yay, he likes it. Tom, tell me, what do you want next? Tom, hello. Tell me, what you wanna do? A story about vampires and blood. Why it's all about blood? And vampires. What's wrong with you today? Angel is beaten. Everybody's talking about blood. Now a story about vampires. Okay, let's go to our treehouse and I'll try to find something about vampires. Okay, let's go to our treehouse. Just look at them. They're so funny. Look at them. You look so natally. Ben and Ginger have the same suit. It's so cool. I will always dress them up. It is so cool. I like it so much. So a story about vampires, as you asked my little bloodsuckers. There lived a boy, Mike, in one typical family. Mikey. He was already 11 and he terribly considered himself an adult. He also believed that his parents didn't need him and they were waiting for the opportunity to get rid of him. This family lived in a city and the parents worked hard in order to provide for themselves and their son. Therefore, they couldn't spend much time together. That is why Mikey had thoughts that they don't need him. After school, most of the time boys spent at home playing computer games. His favorite game was Assassin's Creed, well, of course. While playing it, he imagined how cool it would be if he also became a hooded assassin. No school, freedom, if only I could. With that thought, he turned off the computer and went to bed. It was 11.30 in the evening, too late for him because he had morning classes. He woke up in the morning and went to school, as usual he didn't pay any attention to anything around him. But after passing a few yards he felt a look and turned around. There stood a tall man in a white cloak right behind him. 
His head was covered with a hood, and Mikey couldn't see his face. But he could see his lips. They slowly moved and said something to him. Mike, Mike, somebody shouted. It was his friend Kyle, he lived near. Usually they went to school together, and Kyle shouted for Mike to wait for him. But when Mike turned around, the mysterious man was no longer there. But he left a small piece of white paper. Being curious, the boy unfolded it and read, We know, we are close. Mike got scared, but took it for a stupid joke. He was alone at home again in the evening. Mike got already used to it, but he still remembered the note he found in the morning after meeting that man in the hood. He tried to calm down, but he heard a soft whisper, Mike, Mike, Mike. This voice came from his room. Frightened, he ran to the kitchen for a knife. Running to the threshold, he almost died of fear. There was an inscription on the wall with falling blood drops. We know. We wait. Taking a kitchen knife with a trembling hands, Mike went to his room on half bed legs. Right on his bed sat the same man in the hood. He smiled mysteriously and just then Mike noticed another silhouette sitting in his computer chair. It was a woman also in a hood. Will you kill me? Mike asked in a trembling voice. Yes. They answered at once and took off their hoods. Mike dropped the kitchen knife. His mother and father were sitting in front of him, only their eyes. These eyes didn't blink at all and was shining in the light of the night. As it turned out, his parents were vampires. Therefore, they've never been home at daytime. But at nights, they were loaded the fridge with food so that the sun would eat. So Mike is a vampire now and neither friends nor relatives have ever seen him again. This family jumps on city rooftops looking for prey in the night. Mike no longer considers his parents do not need him, he also has his own cape with a white hood. What a story, guys! Damn, it would be cool to be a vampire? On the one hand, of course. <laughs> it would be cool, right? We just can't have friends. But I would make them vampires too! Yeah. Did you enjoy that story? Write in comments. So, guys, I still have no idea what happened to Angela. I wanna know. Look at Becca! Can you see that bloody trails? Well, it's obviously her, I should have known it. It's all her fault. She is an evil monster and also that friend of that Arab cat. Let's send her to the microphone. Beck, I need to talk to you right now. Angela, stand back. So, Becca, tell me what's going on. Hello, Kyusha. What do you mean, what's going on? What's going on? Everything is fine. I saw a bite on Angela's hand. Is it you? Um, why do you think it's me? Um, I'm just walking here, minding my own business. Only you can do it. You left bloody trails. Come across. Well, you've already seen a zombie monster. Yeah, I remember. I saw a zombie monster. So what? So what? I am also an unusual monster. I am a vampire. So you became a vampire? It's not became. i am always been it. Ew, why did you bite Angela? You're almost relatives. Just you wait. You will drink blood too. No, I'll never drink blood. Well, we'll see about that. I bet you'll try Angela's blood and you'll like it. Don't touch her anymore. Bye, Becca. Oh, I'm so tired of these monsters. They took all my blood. I think I'll go grab some snack. I don't have energy to talk to them. What is that? How did this get here?
please subscribe our channel. Otherwise, I will bite you. You did it? Good. Let's try it. Angela, anything new in our house? Um, everything could be quite good, but... So everything is good. I'm surprised. It could be, but that coffin. Wow. Seriously? Is it coffin? Can you hear that knocking sound inside there? Or maybe I'm just tripping. <gasps> Did you hear that? I heard it for sure. There is someone alive inside there. Maybe. I know how to check it. Hey, you, if you're alive, knock three times. Hi my kitties, welcome to my channel. Today we as usual continue playing Talking Tom and his friends. Okay, happened this time? We've already had so many adventures and it's getting more and more creepy. Well, 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 what's going on here? Everybody's sleepy and they want to do their stuff. Our house is so messy. Why is the piano is here? Could you explain please why is it near the toilet? Okay, we need to clean up. Tom, clean up please. Thank you. Ginger, let's go to eat something. I see you need it. Not bad. Becca is singing today. Angela is playing. Is everything okay, girls? Okay, let's ask Angela to clean up here. I can't live with that rubbish inside the house. No, Angela, don't sit there. No one wants to clean up here. Angela, do it. Ginger, come back here. You take it. Becca, do you want that Pepe? Oh, you do? Are you sure you want it? Something is gonna happen. Boom! A little bit burned Ginger's eyebrows, but never mind. It's okay. Well, 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 do you see that? It's the tail of the talking Tom. I'm telling you, look at this. He's just chilling out there. While these two are cleaning up, we can do something funny. You know what? I want to send our Ginger to the pool. It's been a while since we've been there last time. Ginger, let's go to swim. Maybe you can find something interesting there. Oh, look at him. Top view. Where do you like to swim? Maybe this way. Oh, Tom. Hello. We can dash against him. Well, well, well. What do you want me to do? Crash into him? Let's try to do it though. Bum! Ah, oh, victory! Oh, I got it! Let's do it again. Oh, waiting for the players. Seems like it's gonna be many of us. I'm a little ginger and I'm gonna kick you all. Bum, bum, bum. Hey guys, come on! Hit, hit her! Seems like I'm gonna smash them all. Look, I became bigger. But the most huge is Tom and he's gonna... You're out! I'm out of the pool! Damn, you did good. Keep on playing, ginger. See you later. Okay, it's time to know what happened here. Angela, anything new in our house? Um, everything could be quite good, but... So everything is good, I'm surprised. It could be, but that coffin... Wow! Seriously? Is it coffin? Can you hear that knocking sound inside there? Or maybe I'm just tripping. <gasps> Did you hear that? I heard it for sure. There is someone alive inside there. Maybe. I know how to check it. Hey, you, if you're alive, knock three times. <gasps> Did you hear that? It knocked three times as I said. Cripes. <gasps> it's Dracula. Hey, I come drink your blood. Oh my god. No way. All the monsters come here to compete with us in monstrity. I don't gonna compete with you. I'm here to drink your blood. Nobody's gonna let you do it. How dare you, silly mortal creature. I will drink all your blood. Oh, I don't wanna listen it. Angel, open the drapes. Hiding into his coffin. It's not gonna save you. I'm coming at night. Well, it will be night soon. Yes, the night are coming. And here, by the way, I can hear you. Well, that was definitely creepy. Okay, guys, let's go to your treehouse. I need to talk to you, and I don't want him to hear us. Okay, we need to read a story about vampires. Becca, do you have something? I think I can find something creepy. Okay, good. Let's finish here and go to your treehouse. Okay, my little friends, first let's meet your needs. I know what you want, and you'll get it, of course. Tom, what you want? Tom wants to sleep. Oh, I missed Tuk Ben. Tom, come on, let's go to bed. 
Let's get you to sleep. Oh, sorry, Mr. Hank. Angela? Okay, it's time to sleep. Hey, Benny, what are you doing here? Hello, Ginger. Me and my friend Ginger are gonna have a trip on... Let it be... Longboard. Well, I guess it is skateboard. It is short. Well, anyway, I like this track. I like that it's getting harder with every minute. Fine, while I was talking, I lost one life. And that's bad. But never mind, it's okay. We got two more. Okay, I want to try to skate as long as I can and not to crash into a bird. Birds are... No! Okay, lost another life. I've just told I don't want to crash into a bird and... It happened. <laughs> and that was tough. Well, okay. Do it, do it, Ginger. I think Ginger is the player. He's helping, searching for the keys. He's smart. Well, smarter than many others. Our Tom is insidious. And Ginger is kind. And funny. I like him very much. Seems like I'm gonna lose. No, not this time. Oh, I crashed into something. I spent all my lives, but never mind. So we're in our treehouse and it's time to listen to a story about a vampire. And maybe we can learn something new. A girl, Anne, lived in a small town. She had never been to the theater before and in fact had a poor idea of what it was. Then one day her mother suggested her to go to the theater it turns out that recently here was opened a theater, and this theater had a beautiful name, The Bad. Mom bought four tickets, for herself, for Anne, for her friend and her three-year-old daughter Lily. They arrived. The show started at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Our time is 3 a.m. There is 3 p.m. Coincidence? Probably not. There were few spectators in the hall. In addition to these four, there was also a family of a mother and two sons. An old man and two young people who looked like druggies were sitting in the last row. Well, many people look like a druggy you now. Suddenly the light went out. It became generally dark. Everything was black, black around. Anne got scared. She thought that this is how it's supposed to be in the theater, so that the audience will be interested. Everyone was sitting and waiting, but nothing else happened. One of the boys shouted, Hey, you, let's get started! But nothing happened. Then suddenly these boys shouted loudly, Ah, someone beat me! Ah, I have a blood on my neck! Ah! Everyone who was there turned on their phones to light him. It was clear that the boy's mother was busy around her son, trying to put a bandage on him. Then she sobbed, He died! He has no pulse! Please, someone call an ambulance! And the police too! So they started calling, but they had no signal. An old man said, It is all because the iron grid. The theater outside is covered with this grid. That is why we don't have a signal here. We must go out. They went to the door, but it was locked. They knocked on it with their hands and feet, but no one opened it. We're trapped! We will all be killed! Anne's mom said. Anne was even more frightened when she heard that. She wanted to hide, and she remembered that she had seen a hole under the stage where the board was moving away. She ran to that place, pushed the board even further, and climbed under the stage. Then she moved the board so they can't find her. She's been sitting there until the morning. At first, she was listening to heart rending screams. Someone was killing people in the hall. Then everything went quiet. Only some people were walking around there and talking to each other. There was another girl here, the one in the red dress. Where is she? Hiding somewhere. We must find her. I don't want to eat anymore. Let's get out of here before the police arrives. We can't. We need to find the girl. We will pour her blood into a jar so we can drink it when we're hungry. Anne heard it all. Her teeth chattered in the fear. She had to hold her chin with her hands to keep it quiet. These people were looking for her for a long, long time. So they left. Only in the morning when the police arrived, Anne crawled out from under the stage. She was grey with fear. The bodies of the murdered spectators were lying in the hall. They all had white faces. Someone had sucked all their blood. This theater was fake. It was a trap that vampires came up with. What a creepy story. Listen guys, I don't really want to kill him. Well, okay. At least he just wants to drink our blood. We sometimes practice it to right back up. Well, it was a long time ago. I think he's funny, despite that story we've just read. 
Okay, so what's our plan now? I drive a stick through the heart of that Toski, and that's it, Beck. Stop saying that. Let's try to give him what he wants. What? We can let him to bite someone. Let's give him Angela. She's tasty. <laughs> no, Becca. It's a bad idea. I will let him bite you, dear Becca. Remember you've bitten Angela? So now it is your payback time. Karma. Do you know that word? Wait, wait. You won't let this Tusky bite me? What if he drinks all my blood? Just tell me. Do you agree? Fine, fine. If you need it, then I agree. Okay, good. Let's go for shopping. We don't have any food. I hope we got some miles for our trip. Yeah, we got two trips. But we'll use only one. Let's go there. Long time been there. Let's try to get something interesting. Well, at least there's something. 60 coins. Last time it is so hard to get here food. Okay, as soon as we have the opportunity, let's spend our second trip. It's been a while since our last shopping, so let's do it. Well, 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 we got something cool. Let's go open our cards. Wow, let's open it. So what, guys, we got many packs here. All the duplicates, well, not surprised anymore. La 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 la. Thank you. Well, at least give me one new card. Why don't you want to give me a card? Oh, a new card, as I asked. Come on, open it. What? Three new cards? No any duplicate? The whole new pack? I'm so lucky today, guys. Seems like we can complete something today. It's gonna be great. One more? <gasps> what a lucky day today i've been collecting all these packs so i can open it at one time so another new card i couldn't find any new card for many many games and it was just sad i thought i would never get a new card let's go oh yeah completed so what can we get now seems like it's a new cloth a dinner jacket cool i like it a top hat yeah, good. What else? We finished one sticker book. And opened a new one, Princess. Wow. Okay, this one goes here. This is here. Oh! I'm um, not mistake. I thought I completed it. But it's okay, never mind. We are filling up a new sticker book. Ginger, come here. Damn, I like filling up these sticker books. Cool. You know who can wear this dinner jacket? Tom. Yes, it suits him perfectly. Tom, you look just amazing in that dinner jacket. Just look at him. So, guys, night fell. Where's our vampire? Becca, are you ready? Hope you are. Wow, what a dramatic entrance, vampire. Yum, yum, yum. Night are here, monsters. I will take all your blood. Okay, okay, Dracula. I will let you bite one of my monsters. And that is her. Why do you mean you let me? Without any hunting? You're gonna let me just bite her and that's it? Yes, without any hunting. So what, are you gonna bite her or what? Yes, yes, I will, of course. So come on, do it. Um, it's not gonna be hurt, monster. Come here. I will. Ew, it don't taste good. He's spitting. What a strange blood you gave me. Here, give me a water. Yeah, that is monster's blood. What do you want? I'm not gonna bite you anymore. You don't taste good, so we are going our separate ways. Goodbye. Bye bye, a vampire. I hope this Tusky will come back one day. He's funny, I like him. Sometimes, if you want to beat a monster, just give him what he wants. Becca, you need to rest. Let's go. Sweet dreams, monsters. You can sleep well, no one's gonna eat you. So that was our video for today, hope you guys enjoyed it, click like and subscribe my channel, love you all, bye bye!